Roswell Incident, Events Surrounding the Crash and Recovery of a U.S. Army Air Force's High Altitude Balloon in 1947 near Roswell, New Mexico, which became the center of a conspiracy theory involving UFOs and extraterrestrials. The U.S. military fostered the intrigue by initially claiming that the recovered debris was from a flying disc, before announcing that the wreckage belonged to a weather balloon. In 1994 it was finally revealed that the balloon was part of the top-secret Project Mogul, which sought to detect Soviet nuclear bomb tests. That revelation, however, did little to end the conspiracy theories. In 1947 the United States and other countries were in the midst of a flying saucer craze, as people reported seeing strange objects in the sky that they claimed were spacecraft piloted by aliens. It was against this background that a rancher, W. W. Mac Brazel discovered some unusual debris near Roswell, New Mexico, in June. The material included tin foil, rubber strips, and sticks. The following month he took the items to the Roswell Sheriff, who in turn contacted the Roswell Army Airfield. After collecting the wreckage, the RAAF issued an extraordinary press release that stated that a flying disc had been retrieved from a local ranch. The Roswell Daily Record immediately picked up the press release, and on July 8 the story was printed with the headline RAF Captures Flying Saucer on Ranch in Roswell Region. Almost immediately, however, the military announced that the saucer had actually been a weather balloon carrying a radar target a device somewhat like a box kite, made of foiled paper fastened to a balsa wood frame. The Roswell Morning Dispatch noted the new claim in a July 9, 1947, story entitled Army Debunks Roswell Flying Disc as World Simmers with Excitement. However, the article also included an interview with Brazel, who did not believe that the debris he discovered was from a weather balloon. The portions of the debris most puzzling to Brazel may in fact have been from a radar target. The Roswell incident subsequently faded from the headlines, though the interest in UFOs and aliens continued. Then the Roswell incident was published in 1980. The book's authors, Charles Berlitz and William L. Moore, labeled the weather balloon explanation a cover story. They argued that the original debris, which they believed was from a crashed flying saucer, had been flown to Wright Field later Wright-Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio, and material from a weather balloon was hastily substituted. Although the book was widely disputed, it sparked additional conspiracy theories as well as a number of hoaxes. Notably, in 1984, documents surfaced that were alleged to be classified memos concerning Majestic 12 MJ-12, a secret operation launched by President Harry S. Truman to handle the Roswell incident. The documents, however, were later determined to be fake, and no evidence was found to support the existence of MJ-12. This was followed by an alleged alien autopsy film 1995 that purported to show the dissection of an alien corpse from the Roswell incident. The 17-minute video was later claimed to be a fraud by its director. Rather than ending the conspiracy theories, however, these hoaxes sparked increased interest in the incident, and Roswell became synonymous with UFOs and aliens. Indeed, the incident became a significant part of the city's economy. In 1992 the International UFO Museum and Research Center opened in Roswell, and since 1996 Roswell has been the site of an annual UFO festival. Ironically, Berlitz and Moore were right about one thing, the government's claim that a weather balloon crashed at Roswell was incorrect. In 1994 the Air Force admitted that the recovered material was in reality from a U.S. spy balloon. Part of Project Mogul, it was an attempt to monitor anticipated nuclear tests by the Soviet Union. In 1997 a definitive Air Force report the Roswell Report, Case Closed ventured the opinion that stories of alien bodies may have come from civilian witnesses who saw parachute crash test dummies, a severely injured airman parachutist, and charred bodies from an airplane crash during the 1950s. The report proposed that the witnesses consolidated the separate events the Project Mogul materials, the crash test dummies, the airmen, and the charred bodies. In their memories. For many ufologists, however, 
these explanations were seen as part of a continued cover-up by the U.S. government. Alright folks, if you want more such videos, please subscribe to Oddity and hit that bell icon too. Adios.